our state senator, our representative, all around good guy. Please welcome Andrew Rohrbach. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Can, can you hear me in the back? I had a very busy morning campaigning in Plainville. I was going door to door in Plainville, and around 10:30, I knocked on the door of an elderly woman, probably 78, 79 years old, and she said, "You're Andrew Rorabak," and I said, "Yes, I am." And she said, I have some things to tell you. And I said, I'm here to listen. So she welcomed me into her living room. I sat down on the couch. And for the next two hours, this delightful woman shared with me her views on education, the environment, public health, health care, and veterans affairs. And while we sat there over the course of this two-hour conversation, I was a bad boy, and I began to eat the peanuts that were in a bowl on the coffee table. And one by one, I ate the peanuts. And by the time she said, Andrew, you must move on to the Crocodile Club, I looked down, and the entire bowl of peanuts was empty. So I looked at her and said, I am so very sorry. I ate each and every one of your peanuts. And then she looked up at me with a big smile. And she said, no, Andrew, I'm the one who's sorry. They were so much better before I sucked the chocolate off of them. <laughs> Wait, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we as Americans have an obligation to keep the chocolate on the country we enjoy. All of us in political life recognize that what makes America great is not that we just have peanuts, but that our peanuts have chocolate on them. And I, for one, the next time I visit that lady, am going to thank her for reminding me what, make, what makes our nation great. It's wonderful to be with all of you. I look forward to coming back many times in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.